Hello guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Julia and today I'm going to be giving you a sophomore year dorm tour. So I did one of these dorm tour style videos my freshman year and you guys really seem to love it. I feel like these videos especially are so useful for anyone that's interested in Brown or just wants to know a little bit more about what the college dorm life is like. Whatever it is, I'm glad that I can provide that for you guys and I'm so excited to film this video for you guys today. So for housing, I got really lucky this year. I'm living in this dorm that has multiple names. The official name is like the Vart and Gregorian quad, but I've noticed the upperclassmen just call it new dorm and the underclassmen call it Greg. If you go to Brown, you can just consider it the dorm above Joe's. We have this late night dining hall that serves like burgers, fried sandwiches, french fries, mozzarella sticks, where everybody loves to go on the weekends as a late night snack. And my dorm is right above that dining hall. So if you don't go here, that's probably zero help to you. But for those of you that do go here, and I know there's a lot of you because I've met so many of you guys throughout the past couple of weeks that have been at school. It's been insane. And thank you to everybody that's come up to me and said hi and just kind of give me feedback on my videos. That truly makes my day. So I just want to say thank you. I got a little bit sidetracked there, but back to what I was just saying, I got really lucky this year with housing. I'm currently living in a double with my friend Cindy, and we have our own private bathroom and one of the largest rooms that on-campus housing has to offer. This is also one of the newer buildings on campus, which is really nice because everything is relatively new and clean, and we're also on the sixth floor, so we have an amazing view every single morning. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so first of all, here is just kind of a general overview of the entire room. Now let's look through it. So right here is our door. It has this lovely emergency evacuation plan for us. Let's hope we never have to use that. Right to the left of the door, we just have all these light switches, which turn on that light, this light, and I'm assuming this light too, but I think that circuit is broken because clearly the light is not on, but that's fine because this light right here turns on this front light and that light. All right, now backtracking to over here again. This is my roommate Cindy's side. She invested in this super cute clothing rack from Ikea. She also has this little like bedside cart. It's all of her stuff, her bed, storage, all of that. Her desk, little photos. And then this is my side of the room. So first of all, I also have the same like bedside cart as her. I just store all of these like eating utensils, cups, straws, paper bowls, paper plates, napkins, whatever. So any night that I wanna do some late night snacking, I have the facilities to do so. And then down here, I just have my first aid kit. It just kind of has a little mix of everything in there and then down here we have my gel x nail kit and then right next to my bed i just have my two laundry baskets and then my little slips and then this is my bed absolutely love it this year i just have these cute little pillows and then tucked in the back right here we got my two friends my shared build a bear with drew and then this little squid plushie that my parents gave me before i left for school and then under my bed i have a majority of my storage so just quickly walking you through these bins i have these six large bins that i got from bed bath and beyond I just kind of have fun tops, lounge tops, all of my brown gym stuff. And then this is kind of like a mix of a drawer. We have clean towels and sheets and then all of my gymnastics practice stuff, which consists of like leotards, tank tops, and Nike pros. And then down here, we got my sweatpants and my shorts. And then in this final bin, I just have all of my pants. I really love these bins because they're super deep. I don't know if you can see like how far back they go, but they hold a bunch of stuff. And then squeezed in right here, I just have my drying rack. The school just recently replaced all of the washers and dryers, which was a super nice gesture, but the dryers don't dry your clothes. I don't know if that's just me, but all I know is that when I run it twice on medium heat for an hour and a half total, my clothes come out moist. Ugh, hate that word. Back to the room tour. Next to those six bins, I have this smaller set of three bins. This is from Target. In here, I just have a lot of like miscellaneous stuff. And then I just keep my umbrella on top of it so I can grab it quickly. Um, yeah, like I said, lots of just like miscellaneous items in here. And then over here, I just have a bag full of all of my snacks that I like to smuggle from the dining hall. And then behind that, I just have pillows that I didn't end up using, a spare backpack, travel bags, and whatnot. All right. Right. And to the left, we have this little bedside table. I really like this thing. I didn't get it in my freshman year dorm, but this dorm did come with this. On the top right here, I just have my mirror. And then I just have these two cord organizers. And I use that for my Apple Watch and iPhone charger. Then I just have a little bit of decoration right here. I love everything to do with this. I have my Daisy Perfume by Marc Jacobs. This beautiful bouquet of flowers for my boyfriend, Drew. And then this gift that Drew gave me on my 19th birthday. And then these are our beautiful windows. Oh, I love this. Waking up to natural sunlight is something that I love so much. So I'm so glad that I was able to get the bed by the window. I'd already talked to Cindy about that and she typically is more of a night owl and she likes to sleep with like a sleep mask on and stuff. So it just kind of worked out really well that I had the bed by the window and she had the bed farther from the window. But yeah, 
this is so gorgeous. We are on the sixth floor, so we're pretty much above all of the surrounding buildings. If you look right down there, that is where the dining hall is that I was talking about earlier. And it is so weird. I don't know if it's like the architecture of this building, but at night when people are sitting down at those tables or sitting outside, I can like hear everything. I don't know if it's like just the way it echoes. It's so bizarre. Cause I wouldn't think that on the sixth floor, I would be able to really hear anything. It would just kind of sound like background noise, but I can like hear people's distinct words. It's so weird. But anyway, back to the video. Under here, I have just some of my favorite on the go snacks. We got the classic Welch's fruit gummies, Luna bars, and these delicious brownie cliff bars that my friend Maya introduced me to. I'm hooked on those things. And then I have these two little Mott's applesauce cups that I got from the lift room, my glasses, LED controller, and these pictures. I was gonna hang them, but I didn't quite get around to that yet. And then down here, I just have a little miscellaneous basket of all of my tech items and my drone. Okay, and moving to the left, we have my air purifier because I have a very severe dust allergy, a fan because it was extremely hot in here the first couple weeks, and another cooling fan. All right, and right here is my desk. So I just have all my cords set up right here and organized. And then I have this little lamp that I had my freshman year. We have my jewelry all set up here and then another mirror. These are the chairs that they gave us. They are the rocking chair kind, which I didn't have my freshman year. So it was very scary the first time that I leaned back on this thing and thought I was gonna tip over and fall on my back, but we're good. Also, I got this little seat cushion from Home Goods. And then in my freshman year dorm, we had three drawers, but instead they just give us one drawer and then have like underneath storage for us. So to be honest, I haven't really gone through this drawer yet. I just kind of threw things in there. So we're not gonna look at that for too long. And then under here, I just keep my trash can, my work laptop, and then my stockpile of ramen and a power strip for some reason. And then moving on here, we just have this drawer set up. I just have all of my vitamins organized in this clear bin. By the way, I got this clear bin in this clear bin in this clear bin from Target. I love them so much because they just make things look a lot tidier and cleaner. Um, and then this is pretty self-explanatory. I just have hand sanitizer, cleaning wipes, tissues, my little makeup caddy. And then I love these drawers because they actually have so much storage. I'm able to fit all of my leggings and athletic wear, all of my undergarments and sweaters in this one drawer. And then down here, I just store all of my athletic shorts and t-shirts and nighttime shorts. All right, so that is pretty much a wrap on my side. Oh, and I also have this rug right here. Got this from HomeSense. Pretty similar to the one I had last year. Just backpack, trash can. We just have this box fan that we constantly had on the first few weeks of school and the micro fridge that they provide us with. We also have yet another trash can, which honestly we don't use that much because we have this one. We have the one under my desk. There's also another one there. So we are not short on trash cans by any means. We also have this like air filter that was provided by the school. And then this beautiful body mirror, which I'm in love with. Oh, my seat cushion from last year. And then our beautiful closet. As you can see, we have so much stuff that it's like drooping in the center and I'm kind of terrified that it's gonna fall. But this is my side of the closet right here. And this is Cindy's side. I decided to keep all of my sweatshirts and coats here. And then this is just my shoe rack. I also got my shower shoes for when I get right out of the shower. Kind of hard to see, but back here we just have shoes that I don't really reach for that often, but are good to have in a random ice cube tray, so. And then finally, I have this like supposed to be shoe rack, but I use it for half and half. So I use it for hand towels and bath towels, and then also for some shoes. And then up here, we have an electric kettle, Cindy's like clothing steamer to help get wrinkles out of stuff, paper towels, trash bags, laundry detergent, all of our cleaning supplies, and more cleaning supplies in here. All right, and now to our little like sink area and bathroom. So for the sink area, this is Cindy's side, my side. Once again, I got this little clear plastic organizer from Target. I love it. I don't know, this is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I really need to explain this that much. They gave us this like soap dispenser, but we use our own soap anyways. It also came with this, but we both put up command hooks so we could hang our own individual things. Under the sink, I have another one of these like three stacked bins. I just keep all of my like bathroom stuff organized over here, just like that. And then we also store toilet paper and paper towels under here. And now finally for the bathroom, we got the toilet, the absolutely gorgeous and super aesthetic toilet paper dispenser with their complimentary paper thin toilet paper. It's fine, it's a joke, okay? Don't take that personally. We also got toilet brush, toilet plunger, this little rug, a little baby trash can, and then our shower. Super nice, we could technically take a bath in here. 
Not that I ever would, but I could if I really desired to do so. And then we just have my shower products and Cindy's shower products all organized on this thing. And then back here, we just have our towels and such. It's my towel, Cindy's towel. We had to buy this extra rack because there weren't enough for us. And then we have these two rugs, which are for when we get right out of the shower and when we're like sopping wet. These are really good because you can wash these, unlike a rug like this. So this rug would get super nasty and dirty very quickly, whereas these are good for a lot longer and you can also keep them clean a lot easier. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, Cindy decided to put her little shelf fixture <laughs> right here. Just looks like that. And then we're back at the door. Hello. So that is pretty much a wrap on my dorm tour. I'm sorry that this video is so delayed, but I'm really glad that I had the weekend to put aside to work on YouTube stuff and get this video out for you guys. It is currently October 15th, and this was the first break that I have had all semester so far. I just got through my first round of midterms, and I'm feeling really good about that. Very relieved. That was a lot of stress all at once, but now I have a little bit of a break and I'm glad that I'm able to work on something that I love. Today's a beautiful day. I'm feeling very happy and grateful and my birthday's coming up, so I'm gonna be able to see my family and my boyfriend soon. So there's a lot of really, really good things coming up in my life. I don't know if you can just tell, but I just feel very happy and content right now. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to come in here and close off this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm aiming to have another video uploaded this next Sunday. So look forward to that. That is the goal. I had a really fun time sharing my dorm with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave any feedback down below. I love y'all so much. I hope to see you very, very soon. I'm just gonna close off the video. I feel like there's not much more to say. Okay, bye guys.